Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on hyperzine A. Hyperzine A is a substance purified from a plant called Chinese club moss. Although the makers of hyperzine A state or start with a plant, their product is the result of a lot of laboratory manipulation. It is a highly purified drug, unlike herbs, that typically contain hundreds of chemical in, uh, ingredients. Hyperzine A is used for Alzheimer's disease, memory and learning enhancements, and age-related memory impairment. It is also used for treating a muscle disease called myasthenia gravis, for increasing alertness and energy, and for protecting against agents that damage the nerves, such as nerve gases. Products that combine hyperzine A with certain drugs used for treating Alzheimer's disease are being studied. These hybrid products are of interest because they may be effective at lower doses and therefore cause fewer side effects. One hybrid called Hyperine X combines hyperzine A with the drug Donepazil. Another hybrid being studied contains hyperzine A and the drug Tacrine. Hyperzine A is taught to be beneficial for problems with memory loss and loss of mental abilities and muscular disorders because it causes an increase in the levels of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is one of the chemicals that our nerves uses to communicate to the brain, muscles and other areas. So the following oral doses have been studied in scientific research for Alzheimer's disease and declining thinking skills due to changes in the blood vessels in the brain, you take 50 to 200 microgram of hyperzine A twice a day. For age-related decline in thinking skills, it's 30 microgram twice daily. For improving memory in adolescence, it's 100 microgram twice daily. Be sure to follow either your doctor's or your manufacturer's instructions when taking hyperzine A. Hyperzine A is possibly safe when taken by mouth for short periods of time. It can cause some side effects including nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, sweating and blurred vision. For a complete list of the side effects, and you should consult either your doctor or pharmacist or the included medicine guide for more information. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.